So it's finally time to get started on the car. Um, I have the fuel tank out already and I'm gonna be welding up some uh, part of the chassis that got a little rusted and uh, putting some reinforcement plates in. So the driver, passenger side rear trailing arm like pocket is basically three bolts, but then it's like a, I don't know, a stamp piece that's welded into the frame with some spot rib, or some spot welds and then some sealant. Well, some of those came out um, at one of the Riverside events and the rear trailing arm was basically like barely held in, which I didn't realize until at the end of the event. Uh, so anyways, um, I've already reinforced it partially, but I finally dropped the fuel tank and now I can go all the way in around the rest of the, the chassis there just to double check that it's all good to go. And then I have these, um, I think I got these from uh, Garagistic or something like that. And they're just basically plates to help strengthen the pocket again, just so anything else doesn't go out. So uh, right here is where I'm talking about. So basically, I don't know if you can see this little support in here, but this whole area right here, and then it cracked like so this area was rusted out which i didn't realize and all these uh, spot welds came out and there's basically a section of the floor that's connected here and it all was dropped down about two inches so i'm fixing all that and i gotta rewrap the car and all that kind of stuff but down in here if you can see where i've ground down um i have to fix some of this um spots and then i need to re-weld some of them because I kind of did them in a rush just to get the car working for one event um but anyway so that's what we'll be doing today and uh we'll see how it goes Alright, so we got this area kind of welded up here, uh, a little bit around here. This I have to pull out, so I'm going to have to do that from the other side and push it maybe, or maybe drill a hole and hook it to pull it out. Uh, I'm going to finish welding up this, um, and that's pretty much it, and then we'll have to do these next. So right up in there is we're going to be putting the plate. I got to uh, grind down that paint that I added. Um, and then I'll put the plates in, see how they fit. And then we'll just do a couple stitch welds around it basically. So. Alright, so uh, I spray painted the one side of this as well as the underside here. Um, it's called like a weld through primer. So basically you're supposed to be able to weld with the paint on it and basically when you weld this side that would because this is going to be all sealed off then you're not going to be able to paint it once you're done welding so uh, it's just to help with corrosion in the future so i'm going to go put those up in there and uh start welding it all right so as you can tell, I'm not the world's best welder, but the plate is definitely uh, welded through all the plugs and then a couple spots around the edge. I had to grind a little bit of weld because when this arm goes up here, it was touching on some of them. So I'm going to paint that. You won't see it or anything, but it's definitely a lot more uh, structurally sound because I could tie in the plate with this, this box over here. Um, up here and then obviously the rear piece and then uh, the inside um, is welded so i'm just going to paint that and then we'll bolt this back up and then we can just do the same thing on the other side all right so we got it all painted mounted back up um it's definitely not the prettiest but it will certainly 
function is what I need it to do. So that works. I'm going to do the other side. Probably won't video that one because it's the same process. Um, I don't have any repairs to make, but I just have to do the reinforcement plate on that side. So there's only a couple other things we got to do with the car. Um, I have an SLR front sway bar that I got. Sway bar we got to put on yet. Um, I have an E36 sway bar on it right now. That's just connected to the uh, lower control arms there. This is the FDF kit. So I should be able to just swap um, sway bars and the end links probably will fit. I might have to just adjust them a little bit. So that should be pretty easy to do. Um, I have to fix some fiberglass. There's just some, like, you know, some wrap issues. Uh, I have a new bumper to put on. And then we gotta get some tires mounted up. Um, we're gonna be trying the 651 Accelerals. And then um, for Street League, wait, there's a 245 tire that we're gonna uh, try out. Um, other than that, pretty much just look over the car and make sure nothing else is, else is wrong. And then we'll be ready for the season. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know when the next video will be, but probably when we start doing the body work. So just a little bit of fiberglass repair and stuff like that. Um, but thanks for uh, watching and if you want hit the subscribe button so that way you get updated whenever I do start working on it again and we'll uh, see you next time